My name is Roger Weens. I am a professor of planetary science at Purdue University. This is probably the most exciting discovery from Mars that we have ever made. And uh, because it is the first of real strong potential biosignature. And we use the word potential, we don't use the word biosignature, because there are other possibilities for how it could have been produced, but on Earth uh, it's usually life. And so that's why we are very, very interested in this. What we found there are what we call, uh, in, on the Earth's rock record, uh, reduction spots. And these are little, uh, they can sometimes look like bleach spots in the rocks because they often are whiter or lighter colored. And, uh, it, what they, and what they hold is uh, iron that is reduced. Uh, iron that is red tends to be a plus three. It is oxid usually heavily oxidized. And an iron that is reduced is a lower uh, ionization state. And that, uh, that lower state is something that uh, the, the microbes on Earth will use the change in, uh, in ionization state to, or valence state to actually uh, get energy from the molecules, from the minerals, and that's how they, how they live. So we found these reduction spots on Mars that are, that are actually rimmed by phosphate. And phosphates are also a key thing for life and, uh, and something that can be concentrated by, by uh, single-celled microbes there as well. And not only uh, did we find that, but we found the evidence that there is actually organic material in general in these rocks here. And we didn't find that anywhere else, basically, along the whole uh, traverse of the rover. So the, just the, the, the confluence of all of this information in this, in this one location is very exciting for us. We have never discovered um, reduction spots on Mars before, and so this is a first discovery for Mars, especially these spots that are rimmed with phosphates. And uh, I'm a member of the Sherlock instrument team that uh, actually quanta or catalogs whether there are organic materials there. And we were a little bit skeptical in general of this instrument because it cannot positively identify organics at the levels, at the very low levels that we have uh, only seen it elsewhere on Mars. So we thought this, this instrument might be a null hypothesis instrument for the whole mission, in, 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 even if there are some organics there. But there's so much organic material here that we did see it very clearly with this instrument called Sherlock. And, uh, and that's very exciting. Uh, beyond that, then we saw these reduction spots in the same place. So the confluence of these is really exciting. One of the things we have to make clear is that uh, these are potential biosignatures. There are pot possible other explanations for them. And uh, so we have to kind of really check those out too. But the, when we put all of the facts together, one of the most likely possible explanations is that of a biosignature in the ancient record on Mars. And so we call these potential biosignatures. But it's the closest we've come to finding something like this uh, outside of Earth. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.